My name is Adjust Reaper, and welcome back to another Minecraft Modern Warfare tank tutorial. And today we are doing the Soviet slash Russian main battle tank, the T-80. Personally, one of my favorite main battle tanks to ever come out of the late Cold War period into the modern period of tank of tanks. Um, I think personally, I think I nailed the T-80. That's me. I think it's always. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be putting this up if I didn't think it was adequate enough. I want to know what you guys think. There is an interior, cramped, but there is an interior. Uh, but I'm not going to get too uh, far into that, so we're just going to begin the tutorial. That's what you're here for. So, beginning, we're just going to start by doing a bottom slab of stone brick. Skip to the left five spaces, and we're going to do one there as well. And then in front of it, we're going to do a top slab of stone brick on either side. Next, we're going to take our dark oak wood stairs do our standard dark oak design. We're gonna skip the shulker box, we're gonna come back to those. Skip a space, we're gonna do a bottom slab of stone brick. Skip a space, we're gonna do dark oak wood stairs. Uh, I think just two of those, and then we're gonna come back to that after. Skip to the left, five spaces. We're just gonna mirror what we've done. Get this out of the way. Bottom slab of stone brick. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a placeholder in all of these spots. And then we're going to place a green shulker box off of those placeholders. For those of you trying to build this in survival, good luck with those shulker boxes. Uh, get all of those placed, and there you have your wheels. And then come to the very back of the tracks, we're going to do upside down stone brick stairs. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do top slabs of dark oak running from side to side where the, tra where the uh, tracks curve upward. I gotta see where the okay so right behind where the tracks start curving upward in the front we're gonna do a row of five now uh, using what my memory is telling me because I did just look at it I'm going to grab some stone slabs and we're gonna go inward right this one we're gonna do a three by three square okay where you see this uh, second you know green road wheel from the front and then just do it like that and we're gonna fill the rest with dark oak top slabs now you don't need that stone slab square however because I'm gonna be doing the interior uh, I'm adding it now because I'd rather deal with it now rather than later so then just fill the rest in and once we've done that boom you have the whole bottom part finished now we're just gonna add on the details we're going to um, Okay, we're going to do iron trap door here, here, and here, 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 and here. And then we're going to take our uh, tra uh, fence gates, uh, spruce fence gates, do two here, and then open them inwards. And there's going to be an iron trap door right in the center, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be fence gates toward the back as well. No? Okay. Just an iron trap door here and here. And I think those are the only places I'm putting them. That's it for those. All right, so then what we're going to do is on, on the green road wheels, place an iron uh, an item frame and put a, pl a piece of polished andesite in it and turn it once in each of them. On each of the green road wheels, polished andesite, turn it once. And with that, we are done with layer one. So now that we're done with layer one, let's move on. Oh, I caught you. Haha, -ha. you thought you were going to get by me. I am too smart for you. 
now that we're done with layer one, let us move on to layer two. So now, moving on to layer two. <sighs> this is gonna be fun. Um, hmm. Okay. We're gonna start by taking green terracotta because I feel like we're gonna need this a lot. We're gonna take some tripwire hooks, but we're gonna not necessarily have to use those yet. Uh, actually, no, we'll just start at the back here. So, green terracotta, row of five here. We're going to put a tripwire hook here and here. We're going to put an upside down stone brick stair here and here. We're going to take our nether brick stair, put one right off the back here. This is gonna be the back fender. Uh, we're going to just sort of fill up with the green terracotta for now. We're going to break out what we need to when we come to the interior later. But just sort of fill up the whole vehicle for now. Uh, up to about here. Just go up to there. Uh, we're going to take... Just going to run over here and grab everything. We're going to need some signs. We're going to need a spruce log. Yes. Put a spruce log here, spruce log here, we're gonna put blank sign here, blank sign here, blank sign here, blank sign here. Take our gray shulker boxes and we're going to just, nope, do gray shulker boxes all the way up the sides on either side. We're gonna have to add more, just going with what I have here. All the way up the sides, up till you breached here. Let me go over and see what I have to do now. We're going to do, all right, let me just grab all of my components. We're going to do a dark oak wood stair here, stone brick stair here, dark oak, uh, spruce, spruce, dark oak, stone brick, dark oak. And then we're going to do a row of three dark oak slabs here. We're going to do our nether brick stairs. One here, one here. We're going to take our gray shulker boxes and finish those off here at the front. We're going to grab our green carpet, put a green carpet on top of these iron trap doors toward the front. We're going to then, actually, well, I don't think there's much more to do besides that. And just this, I think this is the radiator. I don't remember what this says. Exhaust. I honestly don't remember what this says. I'm too tired to think about it. We're gonna do three top slabs of nether brick at the back here, and with that, we may actually be done with layer two. And it would appear so. So now that we're done with layer two, let's move on to layer three. So now, moving on to layer three. I'll take our green carpet, we're gonna put a green carpet here, 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 and here, here. We're going to take a comparator, press some comparator, and we want the two points to be facing inward. We're going to take some wooden trap doors. Throw a wooden trap door here, throw a wooden trap door here. We're going to take a stone slab, put one here, put one here. We're going to take a daylight sensor. I feel like we're just going to be mirroring both sides, but let me check this before I do anything. Yes, both sides are mirrored perfectly. So we're going to take a daylight sensor, put one here, put one here. Two stone slabs here, two stone slabs here, skip two spaces, two here, skip a space, three here. Do this on both sides. We're going to do two dark oak wood stairs here, one like this, and then one curving it. <clears throat> do this on both sides. We're going to do a row of three dark oak here, three dark oak here. I think we're going to be doing a stair here. We're then going to take our dark, uh, our nether brick slabs and do five here. Now, neat little trick I like using, we're going to take some green beds, we're going to need our spruce slabs, and we're going to need our daylight sensors. I'm going to do a bed here, I'm going to do a bed here, and we're going to do a bed here. The only reason I'm doing beds is because they add just a little bit of that extra height that you can't get normally. 
And that sort of finishes that part. We're gonna grab our iron trap doors and do three here. We're going to head toward the front of the turret again here. Dark oak stair here, dark oak stair here, one here, turn it here and here. I think we can now, uh, actually wait, we're gonna put a dark oak stair here, one here, and now I think we can just sort of fill in the turret with green terracotta. <clears throat> going to take our spruce slab, put one here, put one here, dark oak here, dark oak here, dark oak here, dark oak here, and then we're going to put a stone slab right in the center. We're going to grab our skulls, standard skeleton skulls, put one here facing toward the tank, one here facing toward the tank, those will be your headlights. Um, I can't imagine they'll emit very much light though. And with that we're not going to count the parts underneath the gun uh, we always sort of just do the gun in one layer anyway with that we are done with layer three so now that we're done with layer three let's move on to layer four so now moving into layer four we're going to do a dark oak slab here a dark oak slab here i take it we're going to be mirroring that to the other side um this is weird because my t80 turret is sort of gimmicky um, I'm just sort of grabbing all the components as I'm going along here. <clears throat> what even are you? You're a dispenser. Oh, I take it you're facing upward. Um, I'm going to do a dispenser facing upward here, so I get this out of the way. Dark oak stair here. Dark oak stair here. We're going to do some upside down spruce stairs here. Or just do spruce blocks, depending if you're doing the interior or not. Spruce slab here. We're going to. Well, we'll come to the gun after. Oh, wait, there's actually two. <clears throat> oh, and there's. Uh, okay. Alright, so, all right, so we're going to take a observer and we're going to place it like this. Kind of looks like this arrow points facing that way. I don't remember why I did uh, why I did an observer, but I did. <clears throat> Didn't make much, doesn't make much sense now. Looking at it now, we're gonna do a dark oak slab here on either side. We're gonna do a daylight sensor. Quick. We're going to do a upside down dark oak stair here. We're going to do another brick stair here. There's going to be a slab of dark oak here and here. What is in the inner part of the turret here? I do not know. Oh, nothing. Well then. Uh, yeah, we're going to cover you up for now. You're not important. Um, for now, we can just fill that in with green terracotta. You didn't see nothing over there. Um, not yet, at least. We'll come to the decoration of the turret in a minute. We're just gonna start with the gun. Sandstone slab, we're gonna do one right off the front of the uh, turret here, and then in front of that we're gonna do a spruce slab, and then we're gonna do one, two, three, four daylight sensors, two spruce slabs, two daylight sensors, and then one dark oak slab at the end of the gun. <clears throat> we're gonna grab our iron trap doors, do two underneath the two spruce uh, planks, or uh, slabs, and then an oak one at the end of the gun. And that will make your main gun for the T-80. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the snorkel at the back of the turret. This was always fun trying to design in a practical form. Alright, so I'm going to start out by doing a spruce uh, fence gate right here at the back and open it in toward the turret. We're going to put a blank sign on either side of that fence gate. We're then going to do spruce slabs. We're going to do like a row of four here, but at the fifth, spa fifth space over here, we're gonna just going to do an upside down uh, spruce stair. Make sure the side is facing out to the side of the vehicle. We're going to do a 
uh, wooden trap door off the side of it. We're just going to close that, and at the other end, we're going to do a blank sign. <clears throat> now we're going to take some dragon heads. We're going to do a dragon head here. Yeah, wrong spot. Dragon head here and here, I think. Yes, okay, so that'll make a couple of the containers off the side of the turret. This, if I remember correctly, was the infrared searchlight. So we're going to do a wither skeleton skull right here next to the gun. Um, I think these were supposed to be mags for the Dushka on the top of the turret. So we're going to do a wither skeleton skull here and here. And there's nothing else on the side of the turret here. And actually with that, I think we're done layer 4. So now that we're done with layer 4, let's move on to our final layers of layers 5 through whatever. So now, moving on to our final layers, we're going to take our comparator once again. No one told you to close. We're going to put a comparator right here. Make sure the two points are toward where the Dushka will be. We're going to put... Where is my green carpet? We're going to put two green carpet here. That's going to be disappearing. That's going to be disappearing soon. We're going to take a cobblestone wall. I'm going to put a cobblestone wall right here. We're going to take a dark oak fence gate. Put one right here. We're going to do a placeholder. Set a placeholder right here. We're going to go and we're going to grab an end rod. We're going to place it off the placeholder so it looks like it has a little bit of the muzzle break at the end. A little bit. Um, I think what I did was also I took a placeholder, put one here, and then I did the wither skeleton skull off the side, but I don't think that's what I did, did I? Nit, it's not that far. How are you? How did I? What? Something I'm missing here? What did I do? I can't be right. That had to have been a problem when I... How did I... How are you facing in here, but you're so close? You didn't see anything. I think I know what actually caused that problem, but that's not important. I think I know why that happened. It looked nice, but that's not the way it's supposed to be, so we're not going to go with that. Uh, so after that, you basically made your Dushka. We're gonna grab a redstone repeater. We're gonna grab some iron bars, stone button. We run back over here, stone button here. We're going to put uh, where's the repeater go again? Over here, right here. We're I think it goes this way. And we're gonna turn it all the way up, and then we're gonna do four iron bars right here. One, two, three, four. And that will make your radio antenna for the T80. And with that, we uh, aren't done T80. We gotta do one more step. We're gonna take some stone pressure plates and just gonna run them along the whole top of the snorkel. Now we're done the T80. Um, if you're not staying around for the interior, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy the T80. But uh, for those of you that are staying for the interior, let's begin now. This is going to be. Oh. See, now the reason I'm so stressed out about this already is because I remember making the interior for this T80. It was not fun designing it. It is so crammed together. I may have to use spectator mode to actually observe some of what's inside of here. God help us. Alright, so now opening up the nether brick stair, we go into uh, the land of no return. Although this is about accurate to how cramped the inside of the T80 would have been. I don't even think I have a driver's position, do I? Q Game O3. Oh my goodness, how did I even squeeze this in here? I dread the guy that has to sit here, but like... Okay. Uh, looking through the turret, everything seems to make sense where it's supposed to be. Those keep those there. You go around, you're there. Humana, 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 humana. Okay. Reaper has observed. Reaper has been scared. Reaper must go now and break what he has created. 
All right, let's go in through the same way we went into the other one. We're gonna go in through the nether brick stair here. We're gonna go into the floor. We're gonna break these blocks. We're not gonna replace these. The carpet will be replaced soon. We're gonna break him. We're gonna break all of this out. I think we're gonna break around here. <clears throat> break into there. I think that's what I have to break. Back to game mode three. I just need to see everything that I'm breaking out and where. Okay, so these blocks get broken out too. How much is that? Three blocks across. Uh, but underneath of that, did I break far enough in? That would have been. Okay, I broke far enough into here. So, back to game mode one. We're gonna break these blocks here. And these uh, we're gonna replace soon. So, going off of my memory, what we are going to need is we're going to need our iron blocks. We're gonna do one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. And in all the spaces except the one directly behind us, we're just going to do a cobblestone wall. In this space, we're going to do stone brick stairs. Here. Uh, in there, actually. Q game mode three. This th this is comedic. All right, so it's facing. What are you? Are you oak or are you spruce? I hate this lighting. It doesn't help me. Ah. Okay. You know what? We're opening up the driver's hatch. What are you? You are oak. Okay. You cannot lie to me. I know everything. Put the fence gate there. Open it inward. Or that uh, toward the front of the vehicle. You know what I mean. Put some iron bars on the sides of that there. I'm going to grab our nether brick slab. Put another brick slab there. Yay. Now the poor driver is going to be crushed inside there as he attempts to do his duty of being the driver. Uh, this is going to be... Alright, so that's part of the gun there. Alright. Just needed to take my peek. Uh... We're going to head back over, we're going to need this, and we're going to need this. Head back into the T-80, we're going to do top slab of uh, spruce there, top slab of spruce here, and then top slab of stone uh, slab here. One more. And then we're going to do a dispenser. Uh, now, going off of my memory, we're going to need iron trap doors. We're going to just do iron trap doors everywhere except the center and the two blocks on either side here. In the center, directly under the gun, we're going to put a stone crusher plate. Then we're going to take some black banners. I'm going to do a black banner here and a black banner here. We can squeeze right in between of the, right in between these real quick. I'm going to take an item frame. We're going to do an item frame here. Item frame here. Place it on the side of the banner. Trust me, you can do it. Believe in yourself, and you'll get it done. And then you get them nice and close. You never try this at home. Don't stand behind the gun breach. Probably one of the first things you learn when you're playing with tankers. Never stand behind the gun breach. If you do, you're an idiot, and you're a dead idiot at that. Um, I've seen videos of guys getting hit by the gun breach. Ain't pretty. Don't look it up. Save yourself the trouble. Uh, okay, so just making sure you're both that. Okay. We're going to head over, we're going to do a cobblestone wall here, skull here, I guess that's going to be our optic, if I remember correctly, that was my optic site. We're going to do an anvil right here, we're going to do an iron trap door right on top of the dispenser, which now means we can replace the green. We're going to do a nether brick slab here bad idea because now we can't get to the other side however I do need to go to the other vehicle real quick to see what's on the commander's side if I remember correctly this was the commander's side it's been a while since I developed this uh, is there anything of any importance over here nothing at all except an uh, iron bar I remember what I was doing over here now but all right so heading back over to the one we're developing now 
while we can still move over here, we're just going to go ahead and grab some iron bars, throw them right there, boom. We're going to squeeze a, another brick slab there, squeeze another brick slab here. Uh, and now, with that, you are done your interior of the T-80 main battle tank. Not very practical, you're not going to get very much use out of it if you're trying... Alright, if you heard that, that's my cat sneezing. You're not going to get very much use out of this thing in survival, because I've spoken a lot about using my vehicles in survival as, like, uh, bases or whatnot. You're not going to get very much use out of this. Though you have a heck of a lot of storage on the sides and whatnot with shulker boxes, I don't think, for reasons of, you know, uh, creature comforts and being able to get inside and live there for the bed. Actually, who am I kidding? You have the bed, you can just sleep on the engine deck. I'm sure it's nice and warm there. Um, anyway, I'm rambling too much. It's getting late. So, um, yeah, that is my T-80 MBT. I hope you all enjoyed this. I certainly enjoyed designing it. I enjoyed making the tutorial. This is one of my favorite main battle tanks I've ever made myself. And I hope you all enjoy it as well. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the MBT. Did you think I'm? Do you think I missed something? Do you think I could have improved something somewhere? Um, or do you think maybe it was the best TAE MBT on, in Minecraft you ever saw, which is highly unlikely. Anyway, enough of me rambling. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any requests for any vehicles you'd like to see, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and I will be sure to see your comment. Uh, the vehicle always gets built. Does not matter. Whether it gets uh, uploaded sooner or later, it is seen, it will get done. In time. Because uh, I have a lot of vehicles I have to catch up with. A lot of vehicles that I built that I have to, you know, finish up making and doing tutorials on. Uh, enough of my rambling. The link in the description to my Discord, uh, my Facebook, and my Twitter are in the description. Feel free to go check any one of those out. Feel free to come join my Discord community. Um, we could always, you know, use some new, mem new members in the Discord to kind of keep the place uh, alive and well, though, because right now it's kind of dead. We do have some members, but it's just rather dead, so kind of try to keep it alive and well, bring some new people into the mix. Um, anyway, enough of that. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. God bless, rolled out, and goodbye.